So the, the question is what actually happens in the inciting injury? Uh, we call this the bobblehead effect, but what, is exa what does that mean and how does that cause damage? So when, if you think about a bobblehead, the head is moving on top of a, on top of a rigid neck and the movement is relatively s slow. Um, the accelerations and the blast exposure actually tremendous. It's far greater than we see in the NFL. And um, that, those accelerations are so fast and then are, are um, oscillating so quickly that what it does to the inside of the skull and the brain, it, it's something akin to if you had a bowl of, of jello. So if you take that bowl of jello and now you rapidly turn it one way and then the other, you'll set up in the jello shearing forces in the, in the jello. The one um, uh, part of the gel will slide over the other, and that will cause forces that are gener generated within the jello. Now let's, let's take this concoction and throw some vermicelli or some al dente spaghetti in there. And the spaghetti and vermicelli represent the long structures in the brain, the axons and the capillaries and the blood vessels. If you put that in into this mix with the jello, and now you spin it quickly back and forth, you can actually shear the vermicelli and the spaghetti if it's al dente. You can shear it into smaller pieces and that's what we think is happening to the vulnerable structures in the brain during this injury. It's the long structures, the axons, the capillaries, small blood vessels that are sheared by these rapid movements um, that causes the damage. That also gives us some hope though that if that damage occurs, the long-term damage takes years to decades. That's when we want to intervene. That's where we think that our best hope is for treatments and diagnostics that can help people um, who've had these injuries to prevent the long-term damage going forward.